Wild Birds and Peace Drums, welcome to the boat. When it was first explained to you, what did you think this project was going to be like? Uh, well, first of all, I think we were very happy to finally find a collaboration thing with, with Michael and Archangel because we've been talking for quite a long time about something to, to do. And uh, when this was presented for us, it uh, f felt perfect. And also in our, in our schedule, we've, we had a long break and to do something this w w fantastically weird and spectacular was uh, just felt great. Yeah, it was perfect for us, timing wise and also to be, it's such an, yeah, the experience of seeing London from this angle and I mean, it, it's just been existing for almost four months, but the energy in here is super nice to know that there's so much crea creativity going on in this space. It's uh, a very nice feeling. Right, so you're going to be up here for two days together. Um, how did you, are you used to being sort of isolated from other people and, and not interacting with anybody else for extended periods yeah, of time? I mean, we come from really small places in Sweden, so yes. <laughs> we, we both grew up quite isolated. And, uh, and so, and I think, I mean, I think that's that's the way we normally work, but not in a boat, of course, and not on the top of a on the top of a building a in a wonderful big city. Um, when we first talked about when you might play on the boat, you were quite keen to be at a time of year where the weather might be quite changeable mm. or or feel sort of erratic. Mm. Why was that? And and you seem to have done quite well. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> I think the, I think that's because. We, I mean, we, we build a lot around improvisation. I think just the feeling of not knowing really how it, how it will be is really exciting. And that's a, that's a big part of this project as well. So you've been here for half an hour, maybe? Yes, yeah. 45 minutes. Have you any idea yet sort of how you want to use this space? I know you've talked about playing the actual boat as a percussive instrument or... Uh, yes, we will. Yeah. Um, I think we had, uh, we've done some pre-work, some, uh, some sketches. So we have a quite a clear idea of what, what we're going to do. S maybe not sound-wise. We'll, we will not play the actual boat on the performance, yeah. but we will use some of the sounds in the performance by recording it before. We will stuff. sample sounds and That's use it, yeah. Mm -hmm. We've been thinking a lot about like the materials that exist here and like that it's made of wood. And that's why we, we've been also bringing a lot of uh, contrasting uh, objects, like uh, uh, objects made of glass and metal. So we will use, we will make a mix out of that. And water Th as well. Since and water, of excellent, course. Excellent. Yes. And it's a totally new work. Yes, yeah. it's very, only for this, only for this. So we've been like, we've been preparing that way with the structure of it. Also like, you know, the, the trying to combine different just thoughts and that it's this that it has this Congo theme <laughs> around it and mm. yeah thinking of ways how to build up rhythms around that because I mean just not even a year ago we were a part of this Congotronics versus Rockers project so that was also a link so there were two two uh, two bands from Congo that's called Konono Number no. One and Kasai All Stars. So we learned a lot of rhythms from, from there, uh, from there, but... Try to learn. Yeah, try to <laughs> learn. We haven't been planning things very concrete for this, but we've been, think, we've been going back to those kind of things, that what we come from and what we can use. Also, our latest album has a water, very strong water theme. It's called Rivers. So that also became like, um, yeah. A good collision. Yes, exactly. Just lastly, you are famous for your live shows and that feeling of sort of energy between the um, the audience and, and you as you play. How is it going to be to do a, a performance where there is no audience and it's streamed live? It's the first time, so mm -hmm. 
we're not sure. But uh, it will definitely feel very exciting that it's actually live, that it's not that we're, that we're not just recording it and then, you know. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we can, we can get some of that energy that we, we feel that people are with us somehow. People actually watch it live mm -hmm. as well. They do. Yeah. Great. Thank you very yeah. much indeed. Good luck yeah. with it. Thank, Thank you. you.